In this problem, we were asked to solve for the change in enthalpy when trichloromethane reacts with three units of hydrogen chloride to produce methane and three units of chlorine gas. We are given three equations that we need to manipulate and sum up to determine this enthalpy change. All three of these equations do not have the enthalpy change explicitly, explicitly written, but they are written as an energy term. So I'm going to pull those energy terms out. The first one, we have the energy as a product, so this is going to be a negative enthalpy change. In the second reaction, it is also a product, so it, it will again be a negative enthalpy change. In the last one, it's also a product, so another negative enthalpy change. So now I can get started with building up my equations. I will start with the first reactant, and I find the first reactant in the last equation. Uh, it is on the wrong side, so I'm going to have to flip equation number three. So trichloromethane is going to produce pure carbon plus half a unit of hydrogen. Again, I prefer to write it as a decimal. And 3 over 2 chlorine is 1.5 units of chlorine. I will summarize the enthalpy change for all of the equations I want to net. So I flip this, so this is going to be a positive 134 and a half kilojoules. And this accomplished getting my first reactant, and it did start to get some of the chlorine that I wanted. So hopefully another step will get us all the chlorine. I'll move on to the next reactant. We need three units of hydrogen chloride. I find hydrogen chloride in the first reaction, uh, but it's on the wrong side and not enough. So I'm going to have to flip it to get it on the correct side. And I want three units, or three times more than we have in equation number one. So I'm going to have to triple everything when I flip it. So I'm going to start with three units of HCl in the tripled flipped first equation. And I'm going to produce uh, three times half, so 1.5 units of hydrogen gas, plus uh, half a unit of chlorine. I'm going to triple it, so triple a half is one and a half units of chlorine gas, and that's it. So I have to flip, flip and triple the enthalpy change, so it's going to be positive. 92.3 kilojoules, and then I will multiply that by 3 at the end. So that takes care of my hydrogen chloride, and is also given me between the red and the green equation all of the chlorine gas that I needed. So now I just need to get the methane on the product side. So equation number 2 gives me methane and on the product side, the right count. So I'm going to use equation number two exactly as written. So pure carbon plus two units of hydrogen gas will produce the one unit of methane that I want. And that enthalpy change is minus 74.8 kilojoules. So I now have all the reactants and products that I want in the right amounts. I will sum this up. First, I will cancel what I can. So I, have, I don't want any pure carbon, and I have one carbon solid and one carbon solid, so they cancel. I 
I have two hydrogen gas on the reactant side. I have one and a half hydrogen gas here, and then I have another half from that equation. So in total, I have two hydrogen gas. That cancels out the two hydrogen gas. And then I'm left with what I want. So the final answer is going to be one trichloromethane plus three units of hydrogen chloride gas is going to produce my unit of methane plus one and a half chlorine and one and a half chlorine gives me my three units of chlorine gas. And the change in enthalpy is going to be the sum of all of my enthalpy changes. So I tend to put all of this into my graphing calculator and do it in one step. And when I do that, I get a positive value. So it's endothermic, 336.6 kilojoules. And that is the answer to this problem.